Steinish Michael Carrick can lead Middlesbrough to championship glory. Michael Carrick enjoyed a wonderful career as a talented midfielder with England, Manchester United, Tottenham and West Ham and the early signs are that he'll be just as good as a manager. He took on his first full-time role as a gaffer in October last year, filling the vacancy at Middlesbrough who parted company with Chris Wilder after 17 points from their first 16 games of the championship season left them one place and one point above the relegation zone. Carrick, trusted with two stints as a caretaker boss at Manchester United after working as an assistant to Jose Mourinho and Ole Gunnar Soxjay, was an instant hit on Teesside. He guided Boro to 16 wins from his first 22 matches in charge and into the playoffs where they were beaten by Coventry. Had it not been for the slow start, Boro could have easily pressed Sheffield United for the second automatic ticket to the Premier League behind runaway champions Burnley and they will be leaders of the pack with Carrick in charge from the get-go. It's a shame Cameron Archer has returned to Aston Villa after scoring 10 times while on loan at the Riverside but Middlesbrough, who emulate Carrick's fluid football which was so easy on the eye, can rely on Tuber Arkpom to bang in the goals after leading the division with 28 last term. Middlesbrough are 10 forward slash 1 with William Hill to take the title while Arkpom is 11 forward slash 1 with Betfred to score the most goals. Elsewhere, Leeds may require another season rebuilding under new manager Daniel Fark and Southampton. Miles adrift as the bottom club in the top flight last term, will lose too many of their better players to factor. Leicester have lost three quarters of their midfield with Neil Madison, Harvey Barnes and Uri Tylemans all heading out of the King Power exit along with centre-half Johnny Evans, who has returned to Manchester United. But Connor Cody fills the gap in the centre of defence and former England midfielder Harry Winks should be too good at this level, especially if he reproduces the form he showed at Tottenham when Mauricio Pochettino was manager. The Foxes' rearguard still looks shaky but they should do enough. Their midfield may need further investment but they are solid at 6 forward slash for with Ladbrokes and Coral to be promoted. Sheffield Wednesday are 7 forward slash 2 to be instantly relegated and while Millwall fans claim, no one likes us, we love the Lions at for fifths with Betfred to finish in the top half. Nathan Bishop seals Manchester United exit just a week after dangerous foul on Wrexham star. Nathan Bishop has left Manchester United for Sunderland just a week after committing a dangerous foul in a pre-season friendly against Wrexham. The goalkeeper has signed a three-year deal with the Black Cats and joins the championship side for an undisclosed fee. Upon signing for his new team, the 23-year-old said, you see the direction that the club is going, playing young players and allowing them to express themselves and push on in a great league. I think that is so exciting, so I want to come in and earn the right to play for such a great team and a great club. Sunderland finished 6th in their first season back in the second tyre, losing in the playoffs to Luton Town, and have serious ambitions of winning promotion back to the Premier League this campaign. Bishop joined United from Southend in 2020 but would never make a senior appearance for the Red Devils, spending the 2021 forward 22 season on loan at Mansfield. His contract was due to expire this summer only for the club to trigger a one-year extension option that was in his deal. He was then included in United's pre-season tour of the USA, starting the highly publicised friendly against Welsh club Wrexham, owned by Hollywood stars Ryan Reynolds and Rob McElhenney. However, Bishop would make headlines for all the wrong reasons after a challenge on Paul Mullen left the opposition star striker with a punctured lung, and he is now set to be on the sidelines for at least the next two months. The keeper was booed by fans throughout the rest of the game and was heavily criticised by Wrexham boss Phil Parkinson who said, I'm fuming about it, I've got to be honest with you. It was a clumsy, reckless, challenge in a pre-season game and I'm not happy with it at all. I haven't seen the goalie and his probably best steering clear of us for the time being because we're not very happy. United were left unhappy with these comments while Bishop issued an apology to Mullen on social media, just wanted to share my sincerest apologies. A complete misjudgment and a genuine accident with zero malicious intent at all. Wishing you the speediest recovery and hope to see you back scoring goals as soon as possible. The reasons for delay in Rasmus Hodgelund's official announcement as new unveiling date set. Rasmus Hodgelund's late arrival to England in addition to him missing a few of his pre-signing obligations have forced Manchester United to delay the official announcement of his recruitment. Last week, 
United reached an agreement with Atalanta for Hodgelund's transfer after a long period of back and forth during negotiations. The Red Devils will fork out an initial 70 million euros for the striker. The inclusion of add-ons and performances-related bonuses could see the final fee rise to 85 million euros. Hodgelund arrived at Carrington on Tuesday to conduct his medicals, and it was expected an announcement was imminent to allow him to play a part against either Lens on Saturday or Athletic Bilbao on Sunday. According to the Manchester Evening News however, supporters will have to wait a bit longer for the 20-year-old S unveiling. Luckhurst reports, the announcement of Rasmus Hodgelund's transfer to Manchester United could be delayed by another three days. It is understood Hodgelund, 20, arrived later than planned on Tuesday and United's schedule surrounding the Danes signing has altered. Hodgelund flew into Manchester Airport at 4.15pm. Hodgelund was due to meet some supporters and conduct activities around his signing today but that was cancelled and United are focusing on his medical. Luckhurst insists the move is not in any jeopardy despite the hold-up. United are now expect to confirm the goalscorer's addition to the ranks during the weekend. As per men, the official announcement could be made around the Old Trafford friendly clash versus Lens. Senior United officials believe Hodgelund is a rough diamond and requires careful nurturing to realise his potential of becoming one of Europe's deadliest strikers. Indeed, patience should be extended to the Dane even from fans as he seeks to find his feet in a new environment.